just set up our preferences in Lightroom, which is perfect. Uh, remember to bring your hard drive with you to every lab class. It's very important because we're going to be working with the file structure that we set up in class as well as our Lightroom catalog. And your Lightroom catalog should have all of these files in it. Um, to launch your catalog, you're going to go to, let's say you want to go home and work on it or you sit down in the lab and you work on it. There's a couple of ways you can do that. You can go into your Lightroom catalog folder, your name, and simply double click on the LRCAT file and that will launch your particular catalog. You can also quit when you quit Lightroom and you relaunch it. It will simply ask you which catalog you want to open. Notice that there's a lot of different catalogs here. Many of them have my name on them. So just make sure you're not confused about the one that you're working on. It shows you where it's stored, if that's helpful. You can also say quit and merely go to the actual folder, physical folder, to make sure that you're working on the right catalog. All right. Today we're going to talk about importing pictures, which is a fun part of Lightroom. Before we import, though, you want to get your pictures into their files. There's multiple ways to do this. I'm going to show you kind of the basic way because I find that for beginners, it's a really good way to remember where your pictures are located. Um, so I'm going to choose the scavenger hunt folder, assignment one, in my file structure. And I've inserted my CD-ROM here. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. And I'm going to take all of my photographs by, you can shift click on them. You don't have to edit your pictures before you get them into Lightroom, meaning I don't expect that you choose the best ones. You want to really import everything and you want to use Lightroom to do the editing. So we're going to click and drag. Um, so if your pictures are on a camera card, you can click and drag them off of the camera card. If they're on a CD-ROM, you can click and drag them off of a CD-ROM. If you have them in a different folder on your hard drive, you can click and drag them from the different location on your hard drive. So first thing we want to do before we import is get organized. We want to put all of our scavenger hunt pictures in the scavenger hunt folder. And we want to put all of our gray card pictures in the gray card folder, OK? And I have a couple of uh, gray card labs here. Um, I'm going to take that out of there. It really doesn't belong there. So um, the second half is the importing part of this assignment, OK? So to import, there's a couple of ways I can import from Lightroom. There's an import button down here or I can choose File, Import Photos and Videos up at the top. Really doesn't matter. So I'm going to say Import. And it's important that you look at this dialog box very carefully because uh, it's easy to get mixed up here, especially because we have a lot of sources here since we're at school. We have the two different hard drives. We have the server. And you want to look for your hard drive. So my hard drive over here on the left you want to look for your root folder, which is here. Um, and then you actually want to import your entire root folder by clicking on your name. And the reason that we do that is because all of our folders live inside this root folder. So every time we add a picture to our root folder, um, we can sync or right click on it and it automatically finds any new additions in here. So I went ahead, I'm going to go ahead and import the entire root folder with my name on it. Up here at the top, this is where you can choose to import your images or ingest your images as DNGs. So we talked about last week um, converting raw files, camera raw files to DNG files. You can choose to do that here now or you can do it later within the Lightroom interface. We can also move images from one place to another if you're moving them from another hard drive at home. But the easiest way to do this, and the best way for now for beginners, is to just choose the Add button, to simply add them from the location that you've already put them in, which is in your root folder, to the container, which is our Lightroom catalog. I'm going to choose Include Subfolders so I can see my images here. 
These are all the images that I've chosen to include. You should see thumbnail previews. It might take a minute for them to show up um, because it's a little bit slow here uh, in this lab. And then you can go through and you can uncheck the real stinkers. Now, what do I mean by real stinkers? Images that are completely out of focus that were accidents or images that are way too dark, okay? So, for example, this one. Okay, these, those are stinkers. Things that are just beyond saving. You're going to see a bunch of my pictures here, and they might be stinkers, but I want you to keep them because they're stinkers for a reason. They're stinkers that we're going to fix, okay? So, you, you can, you're able to see everything that's going to get imported. And over here on the right-hand side, you have um, a don't import suspected duplicates. Leave that on. And then you have the ability to attach metadata. This is called IPTC metadata. It's metadata that you, you guys import. You can do keywords here, but I wouldn't recommend it because you took pictures of many different things, so the keywords probably are not shared. However, we can edit metadata that is shared, like our copyright information. So on metadata, we can choose edit the presets. And um, the one metadata that all of these images have in common is your copyright. OK, so you can click on copyright. Option G is the keyboard shortcut for the copyright symbol. And you can write your name on it. And if you have a website or a Flickr page or any information, contact information, you can put that here. A lot of photographers end up making a website that has a link to a page that gives information about how to buy their pictures and how to acquire rights or permission to use their pictures. Um, you can also then enter in your city and your email address or your website. So definitely put in some contact information that maybe doesn't change for you because this gets attached to your file and in case anybody wants to buy it, uh, they, can, they know where to locate you. And I'm going to save the new preset as Erica Copyright. Let's say Create. Okay, so now that preset is going to get saved in our presets folder. Remember how we set up our um, Lightroom settings here? So this, this presets folder, it's going to be a metadata preset, and there it is. So I just set that up. It gets saved to my root folder because I opted for that in my preferences. So when I go home and work on my home machine, this folder will be available, or this preset will be available to me from this dropdown the next time I want to import. And I'm going to go ahead and say import. Once you have your pictures imported, okay, I want you to take, take a screen grab showing me all of the folders here on the left that have been imported and your name at the top. I'm going to choose Command Shift 4. I'm going to take a screen grab. Okay. I'm going to label it. to figure out which one it is. I've got too many on here. Figure out which one it is. Go ahead and give it a name. Today at 12.36, today at 103, that's it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and name it um, Lab Import and then your name. Okay. And put that in the, and put that in the Dropbox for today. All right, so remember that the Dropbox is located here. Okay, find my name, photo 51, put it in the Dropbox, okay? All right, very good. Let me know if you need any help.